Pisceans, what it do? It's your girl here, Miss Hawaii, coming at y'all from Miss Hawaii's Tarot. I hope you are all well. Pisces, you know what I realized? I have Pisces in my chart. I looked at my fucking... I looked at my birth chart and I was like, I didn't realize I have... I'm Pisces, Jupiter and Pisces. I'm like, I didn't know. I don't have any cancer in my chart, but I got Pisces. And of course, I got Scorpio four times. So I was like, I want to let my Pisces on. Yeah. I got Pisces in my chart. I got Libra, Scorpio, of course, Sagittarius, Capricorn, um, Aries. Yeah, I don't have Leo. I don't have Taurus. I don't have Virgo. Uh, I don't have Cancer. I have Aquarius. I have Libra. And I have Gemini. So, yeah. I was like, I'm going to let my Pisceans know. I was like, oh, I didn't even realize that. What up? So a few things before we get into your reading, Pisces. First of all, welcome. Everybody that's new here, even if you're not new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here today. And that spirit led you here. Welcome. Personal readings. Email MissHawaiiReadings at gmail.com. That is MissHawaiiReadings at gmail.com. The wait time is about one to two weeks to get you the reading. If you would like it expedited, you can pay an expedited fee. All right, so go ahead and email Miss Hawaii Readings at gmail.com for rates and etc. and to schedule your personal reading. I look forward to hearing from you. All right, don't forget now, following this reading is going to be the extended. All right, in the extended, I will pull your person's card, see how they feel about you, see what actions they'll be taking moving forward towards you, and we'll also get advice for you from the universe. All right, Pisces. So um, the link for the extended is in the description box below. I look forward to seeing you all over on Vimeo. If not, I'm happy that you're here. All right. Don't forget to follow your girl on Instagram, Miss Hawaii Tarot on Instagram. That is Miss Hawaii Tarot on Instagram. All right. I'm trying to build multiple platforms for you guys so that we can communicate and connect on different ones. I also have started a Facebook page. So if you have Facebook, if you would be so kind, please click the Facebook link in the description box below. It will take you straight over to the Miss Hawaii Tarot Facebook. And please like that page and show your girl some love. I would really, really appreciate it. All right, thank you to everybody that's a member. Shout out to all my members. If you're not a member yet, click that join button below. You get access to different secret readings throughout the week that are not released on YouTube. So become a member of the Secret Society. I would greatly appreciate it. Shout out to all my members. Thank you for being members. Thank you for all your super chats, all of your donations. All right, donation info as well as in the description box below. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And don't forget, if you have time, please subscribe to my other channel, Miss Hawaii Scorpios. If you have Scorpio in your chart, if you're interested in Scorpios or you just want to support, please, please, please go ahead and subscribe to that channel. And I have for your convenience, put the link in the description box, which will take you straight to it. All right. Don't forget, this is a positive only zone. Please, let's stay positive, positive, positive and loving towards one another. Okay. Don't forget the energies can always be reversed. All right. Now, let's see. Spirit, please show me how my Pisceans are feeling in love. Show me Pisces. How is Pisces feeling in love? Oh, shit. The Ace of Cups in reverse. And we got the Three of Swords in reverse. Oh, shit. What's going on, Pisces? I like it. You're practicing self-love. I like it. I like it. I like it. I'm not worried. Three of Wands in reverse. Okay. There's somebody for some of y'all here that you want back from your past. The Ace of Swords. Okay. We got the Queen of Wands in the bottom of the deck in reverse. So some of my Pisces, I need you guys to work on your self-esteem, your self-confidence here. Okay. Keeping that drive, that passion, that fire in you. Some of you guys have some type of unrequited love here. Some type of person here. Maybe two different scenarios. Somebody here from your past here that put a hurting on you. All right, with that Ace of Cups in reverse. Maybe you tried to offer your love to somebody and they didn't want it. I see you healing with the Three of Swords in reverse. A lot of healing. Three of Wands in reverse. That's showing me here you're not ready to just jump into anything yet. You're still kind of, um, there's some obstacles here when it comes to this love or this past love. And then we got um, Clarity and Breakthrough with the Ace of Swords. Now let's... Hey, y'all, I was just going on and on. I didn't even realize that the damn video stopped. My bad. I didn't even realize that. 
oh this phone be getting on my nerves all right so i was just talking and talking and talking i'm like this shit is not even recording so i don't even know where to pick up yet but i'm, I'm gonna go i think i stopped with your person so the magician in reverse your person pulled the six of wands the five of cups and the ace of wands all right so with these four cards your person got like i was saying before i was really interrupted i'm happy i didn't go too far i would have been pissed off um some of y'all dealing with somebody a little bit manipulative here with the magician in reverse i feel like they do want victory with you with the six of wands um you know they do want this to work they're trying to keep the spark the fire alive with the ace of wands you both have aces here you got the ace of swords which is about breakthrough clarity awareness and they got the ace of wands which is about passion fire sparks okay i feel like this person is still sad there's something here about old wounds here okay the five of cups is about tears sadness regret pain or whatever there's a lot of pain on both of your ends all right so then i went ahead and um the six of swords on the bottom of the deck okay with the queen of swords in reverse okay so i feel like somebody here could be blocked okay somebody here is holding some grudges okay and the six of swords is about moving on okay peacefully even though it may hurt trying to move on all right so i went ahead and clarified your ace of cups in reverse and i got the ace of pentacles with the sun okay clarified by the sun all right so i feel like some of you guys are dealing with the leo I feel like a lot of you here, you received clarity here about something. You were illuminated here about this love here. Some of you guys are still holding on to somebody or somebody could still be holding on to you. Show me the four of pentacles. The devil in reverse. Could be a Capricorn you're dealing with here. All right. So I feel like somebody is holding on here or somebody could be guarded here. Maybe this is you. Okay, some of you guys are guarded here when it comes to love because of toxicity that you've, that you've been exposed to in the past, possibly with this person, okay? But I feel like you want to keep away from toxicity, okay? I keep seeing new, 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 new for you. You got a lot of aces here. Show me the five of swords. The ten of pentacles in reverse. So I feel like there was something here that happened here that wasn't that wasn't nice to you. Somebody didn't treat you nice. Somebody didn't treat you fairly. Somebody could have done something here that could have destroyed a relationship here, which forced you to, to drink your own cup of love here. Okay, with the Ace of Cups in reverse. Drink your own cup of love here. Force yourself to go into self-love mode and protective mode. Okay? Let's see the Three of Swords in reverse. I can't believe it just stopped recording like that. I was just talking and talking and talking. The six of pentacles in reverse. The nine of cups in reverse. Oh, something here had you very unhappy. And the six of cups. And it's somebody from your past. We got this fucking hermit here too. Virgo energy. You're in a soul searching period right now, Pisces. You're soul searching. You're trying to figure out the truth about your about the future for you with this person. I feel like there's still some strong memories attached here to this person from your past with the six of cups. Could even be a past life connection, past life lover. But I feel like this was a situation here where you were giving and giving and giving and you weren't getting anything in return and it left you feel really discontent and left your heart broken. I'm seeing a lot of pain for you in this connection. Okay, and it's because this person wasn't meeting you halfway. Six of Pentacles in reverse indicates you're, you're, you're putting in all the effort. There's no, there was no balance here in this connection. And it left you feeling discontent, unhappy, unsatisfied here. Even though you still care about this person greatly. Let's see the three of wands in reverse. Because some of y'all, it's hard to move on here. Show me the three of wands in reverse. The death card in reverse. Didn't I say it? Could be a Scorpio here you're dealing with. Some of y'all, you cannot put death to a situation here that caused you a lot of pain. And the sun is here again. Could be a Leo you're dealing with. Even though this, even though spirit is trying to shine a lot of light here 
on this person, on this situation for you. You got three major arcana cards here. Okay, three major arcana cards here for this three of wands in reverse. Some of y'all are really stuck on somebody. And the empress is in reverse. I don't think this is good for you. I don't think that's, this has been healthy for you, Pisces. I don't. I feel like it's been a lot of... A lot of stress here. I feel like you overly gave here. You overly extended yourself to the point that you neglected your own needs. Show me the death in reverse. The hermit again. This is a hard decision for you with the two of swords. To let this person go. To actually finally put death to this situation. And you're some of y'all, some somebody here is actually speaking to a psychic or um speaking to somebody, a mentor, somebody trying, you know, confiding in somebody to try to figure the situation out. You don't know what to do. Show me the sun. But the sun is shining itself on you here. See the six of cups. This person makes you happy though. Death in reverse again. This person makes you happy. They are your sun. You feel illuminated when you have them. That's why it's so hard. Show me the empress in reverse. Six of Pentacles in reverse. You see what I'm saying? The same card's coming out with the Hermit again. Wow. Some of y'all definitely dealing with Virgo or you may have Virgo in your chart. Or this person does have Virgo in their chart. But the reason why this is stressing you out is because I feel like you keep trying to give yourself to this person. A lot. You're overly giving yourself to this person, y'all. And this person ain't meeting y'all halfway. Show me the Ace of Swords. The Fool in reverse. Aries energy. The Sun in reverse. Y'all are not seeing something here. And Spirit is trying to throw it at you. Throw it at you. Throw it at you. And it's because you have a connection. Two of Cups. You have a soulmate bond with this person. This is strong. You want to try to build here with this person. You want this to be something. Could be a third party situation for some of you. Show me the fool in reverse. The eight of wands. With the Yeah, some of y'all single right now. Your money look good. You're doing good for yourself. You just, you don't want to be single. You want to be with this person. Show me the sun in reverse. Some communication could be going on too. You're trying to connect to your intuition, the high priestess. Show me the three of pentacles about what to do here. The hermit again. Woo, with the six of pentacles in reverse, you're getting the same cards. You are putting in more effort here, Pisces, in this person. You are putting in more work in this connection. Some of you guys are like a mentor to this person. You help this person. You give them guidance. Others of you, you're trying to find your own guidance to figure out what to do. You're, you're, in, you're in solitude mode, some of you. Some of you are soul searching. Let's see the magician in reverse. Let's do your person now. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Oof. The Magician. Oh, shit. Ooh, some of y'all dealing with somebody here that you love. Pisces, Queen of Cups. They know you love them. But, Pisces, you know I'm going to keep it real. The Ace of Cups is in reverse. Again. The Justice card is in reverse. Libra energy. And you got the Judgment card. I feel like this person is a trickster for some of y'all. They kind of 
feeling a piece of hair on my lip. I hate that feeling. Oh, I think I got it. I hate that feeling. You know when you wear lipstick and you feel a piece of hair on your lip? I can't take that feeling. I think I got it. Um. Anyway, sorry. Um. Girl problems, right? Especially when you wear makeup. When shit try to stick to your makeup, that shit is so annoying. Ugh. That's why sometimes I love like not wearing makeup. Cause then I could just, my face is just bare. I can just go <laughs> Um, Pisces, you're dealing with somebody here. I think that's manipulating you. I'm gonna keep it real with you. Uh, I feel like this person loves the passion here. They love the intimacy, especially if you're having sex with this person, they love that with you. But I think as far as when it comes to long-term with you, this person is unsure of that. You could be dealing with another water sign or I have a strong feeling that this is you. Your deep love here for this person. You're also very intuitive and this person knows it. But I feel like with the justice card in reverse and the magician in reverse, I don't like that combination. Because I feel like this is somebody that's not treating you right. And the ace of cups in reverse. This person doesn't want to give you their cup of love right now. Or do they want to offer you any type of stability right now? They may be trying to play it off as though they want to with that magician in reverse on top of the magician. You dealing with somebody that's a trickster. Y'all know I'm going to keep it real. Show me the six of wands. You're dealing with a trickster. The knight of swords. Could be an Aquarius, a Libra, a Gemini. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Some of y'all, this person got money problems. Two of Pentacles in reverse with the Nine of Swords. The Knight of Swords is not a consistent energy. This is not somebody that really likes to be tied down. This is not somebody that wants to be monogamous. This is a free spirit that likes to constantly be on the move. Okay, um, some of you guys, this person has a lot of pride. Okay, but I feel like, show me the four of pentacles in reverse. The strength card with the five of cups. They're sad here about something here. Loss here, maybe you and them are not speaking right now for some of you. Maybe you haven't spoken in a while. Maybe this person feels like. They're scared they're gonna lose you. Maybe they have pains from they have pain from a past relationship they're still holding on. Okay. Could be that. Um, could be a Leo with the strength card here. Um something they're going through here. Show me the two of pentacles in reverse. The two of swords in reverse. A decision here they need to make about you and they're not doing it a decision here they need to make it could have to do with commitment here show me the five of cups the strength card again I told you this person going through it four cups in reverse somebody let go of somebody here somebody let go of somebody here with the queen of swords in reverse there's that queen of swords again in reverse with the page of swords. Heavy air energy here. This person could have dealt with like trauma from their past relationships. There could have been somebody here that really did them dirty. Okay. Um, maybe they let go of this person for some of you. If they were in a third party situation for some of you, I feel like they let go of this toxic person. For others of you, it could have just been trauma here within the relationship between the two of you. Show me the strength card. Heavy Leo energy here. Get a five of swords in reverse. This person, for some of y'all, they're trying to recover for something from their, from another relationship. Show me the four of pentacles in reverse. Maybe they let somebody go. The king of swords. They could have cut somebody out. Somebody cut somebody out. Show me the queen of swords in reverse. 
the devil in reverse. Yeah, I feel like could be a dealing with a Capricorn. I feel like this person is either still healing from a past situation. They're still healing from somebody else here that did them dirty. They cut somebody out or they're trying to cut somebody off. I don't feel like that's you. Show me the Ace of Wands. I don't. Maybe maybe it is you. Maybe you maybe you have cut. Maybe you did, you know, block this person. Maybe because you're trying to get over them. Let me see. The world in reverse. See, they can't let you go. The Ten of Wands in reverse. But they also didn't really do their part here, I feel like. See, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. With the Strength card again. This person going through it. They're going through it with that strength card. Keep coming out. Here's the Empress. That's you. Abundant in the hangman. They're waiting here. They're waiting, waiting about something here. And it's taking them a lot. But I don't see them closing out the cycle with you with the world in reverse. I just feel like this person is not putting in the effort, though, like how you have. And it could have something to do with their past, a past relationship. That's why this person is the way that they are for some of you. Show me the world in reverse. This is interesting. The four swords. Meditating here, contemplating here. The two of cups. There's a soulmate connection here between the two of you. But this person's at a crossroad. Some of y'all, it has to do with you and somebody else. Could be dealing with a cancer. Sagittarius I'm getting. They have a connection with you and it's making this person really fucking antsy. Some of y'all, it makes them feel uncomfortable because they're scared of love. Some of y'all, this person is scared of love. They don't even know how to love because of past experiences. Whoever this was from their past, this person has a lot of trauma in love from their past. And for some of you, they trying to fight this connection that they have with you. That's what I'm saying. This person is going through a lot right now. So let's go into the extended Pisces. We're going to pull your person's cards. We're going to get deeper. We're going to get deeper. Let's get deeper. See how they feel about you. What actions they'll be taking moving forward towards you so you can prepare yourself and we'll also get advice for you from the universe as to how to deal with this person, what to do. Um, some of y'all may have new love coming in, so I'll check on that and see if you even want new love, if new love is coming your way. Um, and we'll go from there, all right? The extended link is in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all, and I'll see y'all next time. Have a great weekend.